This is Matt Navar with AppWorks, and this is going to be part three of the series of using FileMaker search features. And in this video, I'm going to talk about two things. I'm going to talk about the quick find feature that's built into FileMaker. That's this little bar that's up at the top here. And kind of some of the caveats and some of the really cool features that are not so obvious about this feature. And then the other one, I'm going to talk about searching against email addresses, which is not as obvious as, it might, as you might think because of a special feature. Okay, so first, quick find. So FileMaker by default puts this quick find widget at the top of the layout, except there's actually a keyboard shortcut in a lot of systems that you actually hide this whole menu bar area. And if it's hidden, then you don't have access to the quick find. So that's one thing that you need to know about. A second thing that you need to know about with quick find is that users can actually control and configure that menu bar. They can actually click customize toolbar when they're in layout mode, and they can use a different toolbar that does not contain um, uh, quick find. So the, a user could actually def, you know, defeat the feature for, um, for quick find in their copy of FileMaker, which will affect your solution and any other solution on that person's computer. It is on by default, but that's just something you should be aware of. Okay, so quick find is pretty neat because it will search against everything on the layout by default. So for example, if I put in like Honda, it will search against my database and find all the records that match Honda. If I put in like Portland, It'll find all my Portlands. It'll actually also search for date, like everybody who was contacted in 2018. It'll search against whatever date fields are kind of on the layout, um, which I think is a pretty useful feature. But I don't think this is really that useful when you're on a, uh, on a detail layout like this one, because the record didn't change, right? If I'm looking for like AppWorks, um, it will take me to the first record that matches that. But it doesn't, um, it, does, it's, it doesn't really, work that well if you're looking at multiple records. For example, I'm going back to my Portland example. So if I click Portland and I hit enter, nothing changes on the screen. So it wasn't obvious to me that anything actually even happened, but my found set changed from one record to 267 records. So I think it's actually more useful to use quick find when you're on a, a list view like this one. So here, if I put in like, you know, main uh, or academy, or something like that, I, I instantly get kind of the reaction that I'm looking for, which is the set of records visually changes on the screen and it's really obvious what's going on. Okay, here's a really cool feature about Quick Find, uh, one of two that I wanna show. One of them is you can configure what fields on the layout are actually searched with Quick Find. So if you go to layout mode, if you don't want the state field to be searched on, for example, um, there's a uh, option over on the right that says include field for quick find. So you can actually turn it on and off. And there's a little icon, a little green icon that shows you whether that field is actually on or not for quick find. Also, if, you're, if you have a field in your database that's related, like for example, the invoice number or something like that, if you have that field set for quick find, it will show a yellow search um, magnifying glass telling you that the field is gonna be slower because it's a related field, it won't be as fast. So those are generally to be avoided, but there, are some, there is some utility with that as well. Okay, so here's, um, so that's how you can configure and control it. So I went and took out the state field. So now if I do a search for OR, um, I, I, I shouldn't actually get all of my Oregons anymore. Yeah, it doesn't actually search on that field anymore. It's only searching on OR in other things, like here's Ortho and New Orleans and et cetera, Orlando. Okay, um, here's a th the second thing I wanted to show, which is not obvious and really, really cool, is that Quick Find actually joins multiple fields together kind of as one, even across different field types. So uh, here's how that's useful. So let's say I look for everybody in Orlando but I only wanna find the ones in Orlando that have a follow-up date, a contact date, like in 2014. I can put Orlando space 2014, and FileMaker will, I think, kind of magically join those fields together. It knows that 2014 is a year, so it knows to look in the date field for a year, just like that in the first video I showed you an example of just putting in 2014, for example, like, like this. And then when you tab out of it, it expands it to star slash star slash 2014. Well, that same thing works in Quick Find as well. So I can just type in 2014 and I'll get, I'll get the same set of records, those 1,278 matches. But I think it's really, really cool to actually notice that it will, it will combine those together. Um, uh, like if I put in 2014 Blake, um, actually I think those might have to be in the other order. Oh, notice also that it keeps your recent searches in there. Um, 
Oh, yeah, there's actually nothing for 2014 in Blake. Oh, I see why. I was actually looking for Black Bruce Blackley, but it's I spelled it incorrectly. Bad demo. <laughs> Here we go. So if I put in B-L-A-K for Bruce and then um, uh, do that search, then I get that one record. And I'm pretty sure that actually works in either order. So if I put in uh, 2014, uh, I'll get the same search. Yes, I do. So that's that's good to know. So it doesn't really it doesn't matter the order, and it will search on multiple types of field, and it's not just uh, date fields and text fields, it will also search on number fields. So for example, if I want to find all invoices that are $1,584, um, um, that will find all of the ones that have the number 1,584 somewhere in there. So in this one, I think I've, I've configured the um, one of the search fields to be the zip code field. So this one is a zip code starting with 15584. And if I kind of scroll through my records, this uh, other ones have phone numbers that are 1584. And I can see that I actually don't have the invoice dollar amount even set to be searched. Um, yeah, so when I, when I go to my um, layout, on my detail layout, I actually don't have the invoice amount to be set searchable in, in, um, in Quick Find. So if I turn that on, and then I do my exact same search again, um, so I'll just type in 1584 and, and hit enter. Now I'll actually get a search that includes all of the searches for that invoice dollar amount as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I did want to note that those related searches are slower. Even though this is a hosted file and even though that has 20,000 records, um, it's still pretty fast. But I can tell you for sure that the more, uh, the more searches that you do against fields that are related, and the more distantly related, and also any kind of unstored calculation field are gonna be very slow. Okay, um, so this, the second thing that I wanted to show is I wanted to show about searching for emails. So FileMaker has a cool feature that um, when you do a search, you can use the operator, and one of the operators is the at sign, um, which is looks for one specific character. So for example, if I wanted to search on like Keith, um, I can just type in Keith, but if I wanted to find it um, where the, like one of those letters, I wasn't really sure what it was, um, like a K at, at, at H, that will search on any words, any letters, specific one letter, um, but it's still gonna have to be a five letter word um, that, will, that will match that search. That's a little tough to kind of demo because there's not a lot of words that kind of start with that. So an easier way to do that one is to actually like K and then rather than using the at character, it's to use this, the asterisk character, k asterisk h, and that will do the same exact thing, except this one actually finds Kenneth, um, and Keith, and you know a bunch of other things that, are, that start with k and end with h. Let's go back to that at character, because one of the things I really want to be able to do, which seems really obvious and easy, is to be able to just put in um, an email address, right? You would think that if you did a search for that, it would work, but it won't. So I'm gonna show you two ways around it. Um, one way around it is if you put that in quotes, this is one of the other operators that you get, is you can actually search for something that's in quotes, um, which will match the specific phrase, and it will ignore the at character, so it will actually search kind of um, more intelligently in the at. That will actually find that. Um, and then I could even, like, you know, put in Matt at, um, and then put an asterisk at the end, and that will find Matt at any email address. So there's seven of those. Okay, a second way to have search work correctly on an email address is this. If you go to Manage Database, and you go into your, um, your table that has the email field, if you double click on the email field, by default, the default language is English or whatever country you're in. You probably never even looked at this. Uh, most people haven't, but at the very bottom of the list, there's actually a choice for Unicode. You, I didn't, yeah, there you go. So you, here's Unicode at the bottom of the list. And if you store the language of the field as Unicode instead of English, and just make that one change to your database, now if you do a search, it will actually work correctly um, because it's, it's basically kind of ignoring that app, that app character, the at sign. Um, on the downside, though, is if this is actually entered with uppercase, so like if I modify my email address and put an uppercase M in there, um, the Unicode doesn't necessarily work 
Um, that actually did not find the result with a lowercase m, but it would if I put an uppercase m. So the downside of a Unicode is you have to, it's actually case sensitive, whereas the normal FileMaker search is not case sensitive. So the normal FileMaker search is, um, doesn't really care if it's upper or lowercase. So for example, if I put in like, you know, a, P, P, W, O, like that, that's actually still gonna find um, what I'm searching for, even if the case doesn't match. Um, but if you turn Unicode on, that will defeat that. Okay, that's it for part three of this video series. Thanks very much for watching.